year's team and this year's team for this roster. We've just had more time together. I think the, the biggest difference between now and then is just that we've had more time to like iron out all like the kinks and stuff like that in our play and like our our team dynamic in general. We've also picked up uh, an assistant coach. We had Chad Miller at first, and now oh, that's Odorous. I shouldn't even say. I just a full Gavi, <laughs> and now we have um, Lucas Blow, aka Physic, aka spelled F I Z I Q on Twitter. He's helping us as well. Um, the coaching staff has been great, including you, Loic. Let me, Thank you. Let me Thank include you. you. And Landon. We've and Landon, a Landon. sports psychologist, Goats, and Laika Chan. Or oh, Laika. Just Laika. It's <laughs> just Laika. It's just Laika Chu. It's, it's just, not like a Chan. Yeah, no Chan. one says, no one says like a Chan. What? <laughs> um, we, I don't know. We just have a lot of great supporting staff this year as well. So um, that and I feel like we've been working a lot harder recently. Thanks to Loic. Yeah, Thank thanks you. to Loic. <laughs> Thank you. We actually had a couple more questions uh, come in, so we're going to hang out. Uh, we'll go next to Arnab. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, Arnab, you're a freelance journalist. Uh, I, I wasn't present earlier. I don't know if this question was answered or not, so I will just shoot it. Uh, my question is for Coach Effis and Mel. Uh, when uh, games like this go to an overtime, what uh, comes in your mind uh, as a coach uh to hear about the calls uh call outs for the particular round is there something uh do you uh have in mind beforehand or if you feel like that's something the team shouldn't do do you take a time out beforehand as well uh well i'm not sure i understand are you talking about the timeout before the yeah. the overtime Overtimes, okay yeah yeah, no, I think the timeouts in overtime are like underrated. Like I, I, I see even pro with VCT matches sometimes they don't take them. I think it's like really good, even if you're not changing anything, just to like make the other team overthink and let's just like, it, there's no reason not to take it honestly. Um, like a lot of times you don't have like stuff prepped for overtime or like anyways like ahead of time, so it's good to take time to think about it because you never know how the game is evolving and then you never know like what the other team is abusing and stuff like that. So I, I really, uh, I, I really like the fact that we have one tack for overtime. Thank you. Thank you. And then potentially the last question, we'll go to Pedro. I'm going to send this one over to, to Mel. Um, I know you've already talked about just sort of looking back at the previous time you and your respective teams have been in Berlin. You know, obviously looking at 2022, you talked about how uh, difficult it was to kind of wrestle with that result and how the mindset was like. Um uh, now this time and for this occasion you're in the grand finals a much better result compared to you know c9 white when you look at that and you try to kind of um go move forward towards preparing for your next match how do you kind of look back how do you kind of like feel about the improvement from where you were at at the end of your 2022 berlin state and right now as you sit here and kind of take in uh as you move on to, to, to finals. It's really satisfying, like being where I am now with this team compared to back then. Obviously, just looking at the results, the results are already better. But I think the biggest thing is like going from um, Cloud9 White to this team is I feel like whenever this team, like we play the internationals, we really do feel like a team. Like a, I would, I would, oh my God, I'm not gonna be emotional, but I genuinely would call the people on this team like my family. Like I spend more time with them than I do anyone else in the world for the past like two years at this point, like hours and hours and hours on a day. And we are really like super close. Um, and I think that actually does help because when you go in the game and you go on the server, you have to trust your teammates more than anything else in the world when you're playing matches. And we have built that bond and we've built that trust. And that's something I've never experienced to like this extent before. It's like very real. So shout out team. I love you. I love you, Mom. Oh, this one. It's two. Me when I start crying. <laughs> uh, and we'll take another question from Arnab. Hi again. This time my question is for Chlor. Uh, we heard a snippet uh, in the broadcast. You were uh, complimenting Petra, uh, how good she was playing. Uh, I would like <laughs> to know from your perspective how it has been. Although you have played her earlier as well, what uh, do you think this time uh, made you surprised? Uh, I don't know. She's just having a really good tournament, and my team and I like to like make jokes to like calm ourselves down. So I just started like saying like, "Dude, like I'm scared of peeking Petra. Like I can't peek her. She's insane right now." Just like to like laugh it off, or, like laugh anything off. That's cool. But she is she is having a good tournament. Yeah, she is, and you are too, definitely. 
So thank you guys uh, and all the best for your grand finals. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Shopify, that was the final question of the press conference. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe they got that on. <laughs>